morning guys welcome back to the channel we are doing a productive weekend it is saturday it's 11 48 we're about to head to the gym i got my ear pad ear pad <laughs> ear pod ear pod whatever you call it I still have a couple days to decide if I want to keep these, so I'm doing shoulders today in them. My Amazon tank top. I'm actually wearing sweatpants today because it's a little bit chilly out, and I've always wanted to try wearing sweatpants to the gym. So this is our outfit, and I'm wearing my Nike Dunks. So let's go hit some shoulders and start this weekend off strong. I spent all morning editing, so I need to move my body. So let's go. Hey guys, it's the next day. We did not end up being productive yesterday. That always happens to me. Either Saturday or Sunday, I will just like completely not do anything, which is fine, but we have to get some stuff done today and tomorrow. It's December 31st, so we don't really have any plans to do anything. So I'm just gonna use this time to get stuff done. I've been putting off cleaning my car for so long, specifically the inside, because for the outside, I can run it through the drive-through and it's fine. But the inside, I need to vacuum it and just get everything out. I still have my wedding dress sitting in the back seat. So let's get that done. It's so nice outside. It's like 60 degrees. It's perfect. I'm gonna use this time to be outside and do something that I've been putting off. The first thing I always do is grab a plastic bag and then take out all of the trash. And I have this big bag of clothes that I need to take to the dry cleaner that I've been procrastinating. My wedding dress back there. And I just need to wipe everything down and vacuum all of this sand trash out. So I actually have to leave the wedding dress in there because I'm going to take it to the dry cleaner along with this bag and ask them how much it is to clean wedding dresses. Probably going to be a lot of money, so I'm curious to see how much they charge so for it's actually getting really hot because of the sun even though it's 60 degrees anyways we're gonna push through i'm using the leather cleaner and the plastic cleaner to clean the inside of my car's surfaces i'm just using a dry dry fit i don't know what's wrong with me i'm not feeling the best i just don't want to do anything but i know that if i just sit on the couch I'm not gonna feel good about myself either, so I'm pushing through, but I have a little bit of a headache. And I feel like I look really crazy, but I'm also on my period, so that's that's probably part of it. The car is nice and clean. Starting off the year with a clean car, besides the stuff that I already explained, but it feels really, really good. I had some bird poop on the front of my car, so I just sprayed a little bit of this waterless car wash to get it off. This is awesome if you have little spots on your car, but you don't wanna do a full car wash. Just get some of this spray and it works amazing. I'm so glad that's done. Now I need to tidy up the house a little bit and finish some laundry. My cleaning lady is coming on Tuesday and today is Sunday, so just clutter stuff. I'm not gonna worry about like mopping or anything, but we always accumulate so many shoes by the front door, so I need to figure out a solution. Maybe I get a little shoe rack here or something. Mm -hmm. 
I have it on auto pay every single statement you guys just don't don't look at me just do something else while you listen to this vlog <laughs> okay today's december 31st and i have my credit card on auto pay it's going to be paid january 2nd but this is my business credit card and in order to get the tax advantage i'm going to pay it off early and it's a pretty high credit card statement for me part of the new york trip was on there extra things that i bought this holiday season are on there so in order to get the tax advantage if you have a business credit card or business at all i'm going to make sure to pay this off manually today december 31st so that way i can get that expense in 2023's books and my tax liability will come down by that amount little life hack um that i learned from working at my dad's because i did the books for him and we would always try to pay as many bills as we could even prepaying bills up front that way if it leaves your bank account before the end of the year it makes your taxable income lower for the year aka less money to the government which we always love that's very easy i'm just pushing a button and then i also want a meal plan although tomorrow is new year's day and I don't think Walmart delivery is gonna deliver. Actually, let's see. If they actually have delivery for tomorrow, that's amazing. Let's find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. They actually have it. I am so impressed, very impressed with Walmart. So I'm gonna sit here and plan out my meals, which New Year's resolution, planning out my meals. I really don't wanna be doing this right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just like I didn't wanna clean my car, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I took some Advil, my headache is going away, so we are doing well. And I just can't wait to go to the gym and do my cardio. I never thought I would be the person to say that, but I really enjoy doing cardio now. And I just can't wait to be done with all this stuff so that I can go to the gym. <sighs> the gym closes at 5 p.m. today, which honestly isn't bad. Also, my Builder Gel Neils, it's been, it'll be two weeks tomorrow, and they have been lasting me so long so with builder gel you can get them filled in so when they grow out you can just fill in this part which makes it more affordable over the long run but even so i probably won't have to fill this in for another week and a half so every three to four weeks like that is exactly what i wanted yeah i don't think i'm gonna do i'm definitely not doing no spend january but i do want to do less spend january where we spend a little bit less money maybe on a certain category so let's say we don't buy any clothes or we don't buy any new makeup or we don't like pick a category of stuff and do a no spend in that category i did a no spend january i think it was last year and it was really tough on my mental health like i was actually in a bit of a funk that entire month but this year we're just gonna do it a little bit more low-key and just pick a category let's pick one right now what should it be i don't want it to be anything um okay goal for january let's 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 start with this goal for january use walmart plus every single week so don't allow myself to run to publix and buy groceries because every time i go to publix i spend 200 dollars, and every time i use walmart plus i only spend like 75 dollars because i'm only getting things that i need for recipes so let's start with that for the whole month of january walmart plus for groceries and then i don't want it to be clothes i really don't want it to be clothes I'll think about it. Okay, I just added everything to my cart for this week. I'm gonna do, I have this list on my phone of meal ideas and then every week I just, well, I try to go in and put an emoji next to the meals that I'm gonna make this week. And I usually start with three meals because if I need to re-up on groceries on Thursday, which I'm off on Thursdays, I can run quickly and pick up something. This is kind of my sweet spot. If I get more than three meals worth, I end up not cooking it and it goes to waste. So we're gonna do grilled shrimp tacos with mango salsa, lentil soup, and burgers this week. And right now my total is at $59, which is really good. I added everything to the cart. I just need to figure out stuff for AJ's lunches. So maybe I'll get some sandwich material or tuna or something that he can take for lunch. But basically that's 
gonna put us around $75. And that, like I said, that's been the sweet spot for me. So I'm gonna place this order and it's actually available for delivery today. So I'm gonna do that today. That way we can have the burgers for tonight. Look at us. We're starting off with our typical breakfast and today I'm also doing some greens and fiber because like I said, I'm on my period and whenever I'm on my period, my digestion just isn't the best. What? Continue. <laughs> AJ's right here watching me, but I've been loving the Bellway Super Fiber and Greens. It has a full serving of veggies. Which you guys know I struggle getting my veggies in and five grams of fiber per scoop. And they are partnering with me in today's video. I was also using this during IVF and after IVF because there's a lot of constipation that happens after egg retrieval. And this really helped me get back on track. I like the greens one in the morning because it makes me feel really good about what I'm putting into my body first thing in the morning. But if you're on the go, they also have the gummies, which I absolutely love. This is what they look like. They're super yummy. Ah, they're super, super yummy if you're on the go or if you forget to drink your thing during the day. And if you're a fruit person, they also have a raspberry lemon one, which tastes amazing. This is a little bit more sweet if you want a little treat throughout the day, especially after the holidays when we're trying to get back on track, get our digestive system back in regular order. Fiber can help you get there. Fiber also helps to keep you full longer, which can can lead to eating less calories throughout the day, which leads to maintaining a healthy weight. Bellway Fiber is available at some Target, Walmart, Sprouts, and Publix locations, which makes it super easy to pick up. And they're also available on Amazon. So make sure to check out Bellway and get 25% off your first order with my code RVIN25. Once again, that's RVIN25 to get 25% off your first Bellway order. Everything will be linked in the description. So let's start off the new year with a healthy gut. Okay, I got a little bit ready for the day. I always feel more productive when I do my hair and makeup. So I wanna tackle the bathroom. I wanna declutter it before, well, it's already the new year, but I wanna start the new year with a clean bathroom, specifically my makeup products over here. This looks clean to the eye, but if you zoom in, there's like a bunch of crust in here. I have not ever cleaned this. I wanna deep clean that. And then this is really bad. I want to go through all of these products and organize it, get rid of stuff I haven't been using, as well as this shelf over here and just reorganize. I do have a second one of these if I need it. I could put it like above or to the side, but I don't think I will. And the goal for me is going to be to not need that shelf. I also have stuff down here that I need to go through. I changed into a gray shirt because I feel like I'm gonna get makeup on me and I didn't wanna get it on my white shirt. But anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, I just 
just finished and I'm so excited. Everything is looking so clean. So up here I have my jewelry case. This is from the container store and it's stackable. So if you have a lot of jewelry, you just get another layer and you can stack them. I just have this one though. So I keep that right there. This is my daily makeup stuff, things that I use every single day. I have my foundation, perfume, which I don't use. Okay, so I'm lying, I don't use this every day, but it is really pretty, so I do keep it out. Blush, chapstick, brushes, my various lip options, powder, beauty blender, mascara, eyebrows, and then in here, I have my tinted sunscreen, makeup remover, um, heat spray, dry shampoo, things that I use every single day. This is gonna go in here. And then this is nice and organized. We have extra deodorant in the back, more dry shampoo, cotton pads, ear cleaner things, what are these called? <laughs> Little perfumes, bronzers, blushes, extra makeup stuff, extra lip stuff that I don't use every day, but that I have options for. And then this is hair stuff, leave-in conditioner, dry shampoo, hair oils, more dry shampoo. Um, this is my certain dry. This helps with extra sweating if you sweat a lot. And then my deodorant. And then back here we have extra brushes, extra cotton pads, and then more hair brushes. So this is looking really, really good. Over here in this pile, this is stuff that is unopened that I'm gonna see if other people want. I did try this, so this is open, but I don't love it, so maybe someone else wants it. And then this stuff here is stuff that I'm throwing away, stuff that's either expired or I no longer like, but that are like really used. So that's that. Up here are serums and things that I use pretty regularly. I actually just found these eye masks. I haven't tried them, but I want to try them soon. So I'm putting that up here so I see it. My face tanning stuff and just stuff that I use on the regular. And then down here, I cleaned it up pretty nice. Here we have extra lotions and extras of things that I already use, like extra face wash and whatnot. This is a thing of extra eyebrow curl things. What are these called? Whatever. My tanning stuff. I do want to get a new self tanner from Salty Face because I know this is not good for you, especially if you're trying to be hormone healthy. So I'm going to finish using those and then get the Salty Face brand. And then here I have my nail stuff and like extra little sunscreens and random junk. In here, I didn't go through this, but this is just all my prescription stuff. My clobetazole for my itchy scalp, my tretinoin. Right now I'm doing a tret break though. I'm not using tretinoin, I'm just using Alpharet as my retinol. So I kind of go back and forth. Here I have little eyebrow stuff. And here is all of my hair stuff. So I keep my hair straightener in here, all of my claw clips and hair ties. Uh, and then down here, this is all my travel stuff. So extra bags, my travel case and travel size things go in here. Okay, down here, I did not organize this, but this is where I keep my, what's it gonna call it? Hair crimper, extra toilet paper, extra pads, extra hair tools that I occasionally use. And then this is my waxing kit. I will occasionally pull this baby out, but I don't feel like cleaning that right now. And then this is AJ stuff. And then down here, I have all of my feminine products, my testing, my burden bee extra progesterone down there. So yeah, that is everything. I'm gonna put all this random stuff away and I'm feeling really, really good about this. Finishing the laundry that I didn't get to finish yesterday. I don't know why, it always takes me like three days to do laundry. It's just my least, my least favorite chore. Comment down below, what is your least favorite chore to do in the house? For me, it's definitely laundry and cooking, if you can consider cooking a chore. Oh, speaking of which, I'm gonna make a lentil soup tonight with sausage. I almost forgot, thank goodness I don't have to defrost anything because it's already 2.30. I also really want to do something outside today, maybe go on a walk because like I've said a million times in the last few videos, it's so nice and we have to take advantage. Okay, I just 
ordered some stuff. Nothing crazy, okay? We just talked about saving money. I ordered these metal hangers for the closet because I don't have enough hangers and my clothes are all over the place and I'm using one hanger for like five tank tops. So I'm just doing all new hangers and I'm getting these metal ones because they save space. So they condense, like when you have hangers all together, they're very space saving. So I ordered some of those. And then I also ordered one pack of this acrylic shelf divider. So it comes with four and that's all I'm gonna need. I spent like 30 minutes thinking of what I need in the closet to make it more efficient. And I finally ordered it. And now I'm defrosting two of these Uncrustables. We've been obsessed with these lately. They're just such a good snack. And each one has six grams of protein. So I'm gonna have two of those. It's 325. I think we're gonna go on a walk soon. And then we have a gift card for restaurant, like a restaurant gift card that's good at multiple restaurants. It's like Olive Garden, I think Longhorn, you know, the, the chains. Um, so we might do that. As far as the rest of my to-do list, I think that, I don't think any dry cleaners are even open today, so I'm gonna do that later this week, but I do have to list some clothes on Poshmark. So let's go ahead and finish that. I have this little section in my closet where I keep stuff that I'm gonna put on Poshmark. It's just down here. These are like super high quality stuff that I can sell. And I was talking about this area here. I feel like I can store a bunch of stuff here if i have the right stuff to organize it so yeah and then the hangers i was talking about we have these black velvet hangers but i hate them so much it's so hard to put like t-shirts on them because they're just so grippy so i don't love it good morning guys let me redo this <coughs> it's tuesday and we are starting our work week first work week of the year and i'm vlogging the whole thing for you guys so make sure to subscribe because that will be the next video out on my channel. But last night we went on a walk, like I said, and then we went to Olive Garden. I got fettuccine alfredo with chicken and it was so, so good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to head into work. I got some Chick-fil-A breakfast to start the new year off strong. I also did some self tanner last night so we can start the year off being nice and tan but that's basically it for my productive weekend i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i also have an instagram where i post daily stuff over there if you want to be in the know and don't forget to check out bellway fiber supplements everything will be linked down below you get a great discount and i will see you guys in my next video bye